Hello, welcome to the Health and Safety COVID Recovery Induction. This awareness course is for all Swansea University students. This induction will outline the university's approach and procedures for all those arriving or returning to campus. It will provide you with the information you need to help protect your health and keep you safe. I will signpost additional information throughout the course. The health and safety guidance in relation to COVID-19 and all current policies and procedures can be found on the My Uni intranet pages. Everyone must ensure that all health and safety procedures are followed and not be tempted to only concentrate on the current situation with COVID-19. Every effort has been made to ensure the information contained in this induction is up to date with government guidance and advice at the time of the recording. However, some advice and guidance may change as further research is conducted into COVID-19. You will be informed of any changes as they occur. So what is COVID-19? In its most basic description, COVID-19 is an infectious disease caused by the most recently discovered coronavirus. The virus enters the body through the eyes, nose and mouth. It is spread through breathing in small droplets from aerosol spray caused by coughing, sneezing and speaking. The virus lives outside of the body and can live on some surfaces for a number of hours. The droplets are relatively heavy and drop to the ground surfaces or objects such as tables, handrails or phones. The virus can then be transmitted through touching the contaminated surfaces or objects. A vaccine is the best way to end the pandemic, but until a suitable vaccine is in place, we need to minimise and control the spread to slow down the virus. Through slowing the spread of the virus, it reduces the chance of infecting more people, which would be, will protect the most vulnerable in our community. The most common symptoms of COVID-19 are a high temperature, shortness of breath, a new continuous cough, where you were coughing more than usual, a loss or change to your sense of smell or taste. Other symptoms which are less common may include a sore throat, fatigue or gastric symptoms. As a university, we have assessed the risks associated with COVID-19 in line with the government guidance and expectations. A risk assessment has been completed and control measures and guidance put in place. The university recognises the risk of COVID-19 cannot be completely eliminated and has done everything that is reasonably practicable to minimise the risk and protect its community. It is important we try to prevent the transmission of the virus by having suitable controls in place to lower the transmission risk. All those identified as being at high risk of severe illness from coronavirus due to serious underlying health conditions should have received a letter from the Chief Medical Officer to SHIELD in recent months. All students were asked to inform the university at enrolment if they had been shielded or identified as vulnerable in the categories outlined by government guidelines. If you have not already done this or your status changes, there are two methods you can use to provide us with the information. You can either update the information via your intranet profile or alternatively contact the MyUni support team in academic services. They have a dedicated email address, which is myunisupport at swansea.ac.uk. You will also be required to inform us of your engagement mode of study, as some of you will choose online study only or a blended approach, including face to face. This might change as the term progresses, so it is important you keep us informed if your circumstances change. The MyUni support team will provide support and inform you of your responsibilities with regards to any de health declaration you make. They will also provide any pastoral support required. This is an internal process to help colleges deliver teaching appropriately to support you. It does not replace any obligation you have to inform Public Health Wales. All students that are international or are arriving in the UK from a quarantine listed country need to book into quarantine accommodation. This needs to be done before you arrive in the UK. You will have to quarantine for two weeks. Once you have spent two weeks in quarantine, you will be moved to your allocated residence. You will have information supplied to you about how to order food and get support. There are click and collect options and the university staff will assist you with this. If you were in private accommodation, then you must quarantine within, within that accommodation and follow the Welsh Government guidance. Students who require airport pickup service can book this via the university webpage. A household or bubble is classed as those that live together. Students do not need to social distance within their household or bubble. If students socialise with others from other households, then social distancing will need to be upheld. We encourage socialising outdoors where poss possible. 
If this is not possible, there should be no group gatherings in halls or privately rented accommodation. Gatherings could be subject to finable action by the police in line with Welsh Government guidelines. The University wants to ensure our students and staff are safe at all times. Students need to ensure that they uphold the Student Charter. This is available on the My Uni intranet pages. Anyone not supporting the Charter and recommendations could risk a disciplinary process. If you have symptoms of COVID-19, then you must self-isolate for at least 10 days. If a member of your household has symptoms, then you must self-isolate for 14 days. This starts from the first day you have symptoms or become unwell. If you do need to self-isolate, you will need to let the My Uni support team know immediately. We are operating a process at the university in line with the Welsh Government Test, Trace and Protect strategy to try and prevent the spread of the virus. You can request a test from NHS Wales via their website. If after 10 days you feel better and no longer have symptoms, you can return to your normal routine. If you, were, if you still have symptoms after 10 days, you must continue to self-isolate until you feel well and no longer have symptoms. More information can be found on the My Uni Internet pages or Welsh Government website. If you were living it with someone who has symptoms of COVID-19, all members of the household are to isolate for 14 days. The 14 days start from the day the symptoms or illness began in the first person within the household. If another household member becomes ill towards the end of the 14 day isolation, they will need to self isolate for a further 10 days from the first day of symptoms. However, the household isolation does not need to be extended. Due to the change in circumstances and further research, this guidance may change over time. Check the Welsh Government website for the latest information. The NHS Wales Test, Trace and Protect strategy ensures that anyone who develops symptoms of COVID-19 can quickly be tested and find out if they have the virus. It helps trace close recent contacts of anyone who tests positive for COVID-19 and if necessary notifies them that they must self-isolate at home to help stop the spread of the virus. If you are contacted by the Test and Trace service, you should self-isolate for 14 days and follow the specific guidance provided by the service. We also have the Safe Zone app at Swansea University. This app is easy to use and forms part of our work to keep our community safe. Safe Zone lets you get help quickly in a personal emergency if someone needs first aid or general help. Safe Zone also sends you notifications in the event of an emergency so you know what to do and stay safe. The use of the Safe Zone will aid us in quickly identifying anyone in our community who may have come into contact with someone who has COVID-19 symptoms. The app is free to download and can be downloaded using the link. Further details about Safe Zone can be found on the My Uni intranet pages. Good hand hygiene is key for infection control. You should wash your hands for 20 seconds with soap and water and where hand washing facilities are not available, you can use a hand sanitizer with a minimum alcohol content of 60%. Clothing that covers your hands or jewellery can prevent a thorough clean. Useful tips for good hand hygiene are to remove jewellery, particularly your rings. It may be best to leave your valuables at home to help with this. Roll up your sleeves to wash your hands. Keep your nails short and avoid wearing nail varnish. Cover cuts with waterproof dressings. Use a paper towel to shut off taps after using them and washing your hands and dry your hands thoroughly. Every student will be issued with their own bottle of sanitizer and refill stations will be available around campus. With frequent hand washing and sanitizing, your hands may become dry. Remember to moisturize your hands if possible. If you cough, ensure it is into a tissue or a bent elbow. Wash your hands or sanitize immediately after. You should avoid touching your face at all times. These are some examples of the posters you will see displayed in communal areas across campus. The posters illustrate good hand washing and sanitising techniques. Further information for good hygiene is available on the health and safety page of the My Uni intranet pages. So what do you need to do when you arrive at campus? If you, before you travel, if you or any individuals within your household have COVID-19 or have symptoms of COVID-19, you are not to travel to campus and must self-isolate at your home. If you have been in contact with anyone who has COVID-19 or symptoms of COVID-19, then do not come to campus and self-isolate at home. Contact the My Uni support team for advice and support. 
You will be allocated an arrival date and time to move into your accommodation. To support social distancing, it is important you stick to your allocated slot and follow the guidance provided. If you arrive outside of your slot, you will be asked to return on your allocated date. If you arrive on the correct date but are too early, you will be asked to wait in your car until the correct time of your allocated slot. The allocated arrival slots will support and create your households and bubble. This is important to keep students safe and well. It will also help to support you in fostering friendships and have a positive start to your university journey. You can only bring one car and you are asked to bring no more than two individuals with you on arrival day if possible. If this is not possible, other individuals will be asked to stay in the car while you and your allocated individuals unload and move into your allocated accommodation. You and those that accompanying you are expected to wear a face covering on campus. There will be staff and volunteers and marshals on hand to support you when arriving on campus. This will help prevent queues and reduce traffic delays. Please ensure you follow the signs on campus telling you where to park your vehicle near your zone of accommodation. The use of face coverings has been discussed in the media a great deal in recent months. A face covering is a piece of cloth or material that covers your mouth and nose while allowing you to breathe comfortably. It is not a type of PPE. The Welsh Government and World Health Organisation recommend the use of three layer face coverings as part of a wider range of measures to prevent transmission, particularly in situations where social distancing and hand hygiene measures are difficult to maintain. Swansea University expect face coverings to be worn by all students and staff on campus, particularly within our buildings. Outside areas where people are spread out are less of an issue, but face coverings are still a sensible precaution. When in enclosed areas such as shops, food outlets, reception areas, teaching spaces and labs where social distancing is difficult, face coverings are expected to be worn. So how do you use face coverings? They should only be handled with clean hands. Frequently handling and reusing your face covering can result in an increased risk in contracting COVID-19. When wearing a face covering, you should avoid touching your face or the face covering itself, as it's possible to contaminate them with germs from the hands. You should wash and change the face covering daily and change it if it becomes damp, soiled or if you've touched it. If the material is washable, you should wash in line with the manufacturer's instructions. If it is not washable, dispose of it after use. Disposable face coverings should not be reused. They are to be disposed of in accordance with the university waste disposal procedures. If you are unable to wear a face covering, you should inform the MyUni support team and wear a hidden disability Disabilities Sunflower Lanyard. Alternatively, you can carry a hidden disabilities card or have a downloadable image on your phone. These can be found on the Hidden Disabilities Store webpage. However, there are limitations to using face coverings. It is important to remember that face coverings are not a substitute for social distancing, frequent hand washing or other control measures put in place. Face coverings can also create a barrier to communication and can be difficult to wear. For example, people with respiratory conditions or claustrophobia may find them difficult. They can also give general discomfort or cause skin irritation. For more information, see the MyUni intranet pages. You will be notified when you can collect your student ID cards from reception if you are staying at Hendra Violin Village and at the Bay within two to seven days after you arrive on campus. If you were in accommodation on Singleton campus, your cards will be delivered to your flat mailboxes by site staff within two to seven days after you arrive. If you were in private housing, you will need to collect your student cards from the library at Singleton or the Bay Library from the 14th of September between 3 and 5 p.m. Monday to Friday. All students will receive a welcome pack. The pack will contain a face covering, sanitizer and support information. There is a My Swansea app available to download, which, will, which you may find helpful. This can be found on the My Uni Internet pages to download. So what can you expect to see on campus? Social distancing is crucial for preventing the spread of COVID-19. In order to accommodate this, the university, where feasible, has implemented a number of controls in our buildings, including our halls of residence. One-way systems have been introduced wherever possible. Where this cannot be achieved, physical barriers and designated walkways may have been introduced in some areas. They may also be keep left signage in some of our corridors. 
the controls implemented would have been risk assessed, particularly for communal areas with high footfall. Where possible, our stairwells would be made one way. For buildings and halls of residence where there are more than one stairwell, they will be designated for up and down to maintain a one-way system. However, where there is only one stairwell present, a number of options may have been implemented in those buildings. For example, there may be a keep left system with signage. Verbal checks may be required, a simple call to check if someone else is using the stairs at that time. Priority may be given to people coming up the stairs and you will have to wait to maintain the social distance. For our lifts, the maximum capacity of lifts has been reviewed to ensure social distancing can be maintained. However, where possible, you should avoid using the lift. This will allow them to be free for use by those who need them or for transporting goods safely. The university cleaning team has reviewed and increased the cleaning regimes on campus for all communal areas such as toilets and general study spaces. Sanitised stations have been introduced at the entrances of all of our buildings, including the halls of residence. You will also be issued with a personal bottle of sanitizer as part of your welcome pack. There will be refill stations located across campus. Our cleaning team will clean all communal areas and high touch points within our halls of residence. They will not clean your rooms or en suites. Cleaners will enter accommodation in PPE and will be upholding social distancing. We ask all students to not be present in communal areas during cleaning by our cleaning team. Students will be informed of the allocated cleaning day in advance. We ask you to respect social distancing and refer to the student charter for more information. All students within residences are expected to keep a good standard of hygiene and use cleaning products such as disinfectant to ensure that surfaces are clean. Also ensure good personal hygiene by washing your hands regularly and wearing your face coverings when outside of the residences. Sanitizer stations will be at the entrance of our halls of residence for your use. Face coverings need to be worn when socialising with others outside of the household. The welcome packs you receive will support you with this. Social distancing measures have been introduced where applicable in our toilets, washrooms and shower facilities. There is also increased cleaning regimes, particularly in our highest footfall locations. The number of water outlets available on campus has been reduced to the areas where sanitizing equipment such as wipes and sprays are available. All equipment such as kettles and hydroboils are to be cleaned before and after use. If using shared cutlery and crockery, you should also wash thoroughly before and after use. However, you should try and use your own cutlery and crockery wherever possible. Where possible, you should walk or cycle to campus. More information can be found on the Sustainable Travel webpage. If you were using public transport to travel, follow the government guidelines for travelling. You must wear a face covering and it has to be three, a three layer face covering. Try to avoid business busy times if possible. Maintain social distancing as much as possible. If you were using a private vehicle, try to avoid traveling with or providing a lift to people who are not members of your household. If car sharing cannot be avoided, follow government guidelines, such as limit the number of people in the vehicle to no more than two. Sit diagonally to the driver. This means sitting in the back seat behind the passenger seat. Wash or sanitize your hands before entering and leaving the vehicle and avoid touching your face with your hands. You should wash or sanitise your hands when arriving at and leaving campus. Further information for safe travel is available on my uni internet pages and the Welsh Government website. There are additional measures you can take to protect yourself and others. When on campus, you should reduce face-to-face -face contact as much as possible and avoid crowded places or venues if you can. This can be achieved by having alternatives to face gatherings, for example, use Zoom or Skype for a catch-up, Meet your friends outdoors as much as possible. Keep the number of people meeting to a minimum. Do not share your stationery such as pens and notepads. These are difficult to keep clean and can become contaminated. Stagger your break times where possible to avoid the busy or peak times on campus and take your breaks outside as much as possible and maintain social distancing. We are fortunate to have wonderful surroundings on our campus, so why not try and take advantage of that for your breaks and socialising? It will also improve your well-being and help to reduce any stress or anxiety you may be feeling. We all have a social responsibility and a duty of care to our fellow students and staff. 
If you see individuals who are breaching the current social distancing guidelines or other control measures, it is acceptable to remind them of the current requirements. Remember, it's okay to challenge and it's okay to be challenged. Further information can be found on the My Swansea app. The effects of the current situation can increase stress and anxiety for some. We have made arrangements to support the health, safety and well-being of all of our students. However, if you have any concerns or feel anxious about coming to campus, you should discuss this with the My Uni support team. Some of these concerns may be if you have been shielding or are in a vulnerable group, having to leave your home to come to university, what to expect when you get to campus and how you can protect yourself when you're on campus. It is important to discuss all of your concerns with our support team before you arrive and discuss any concerns that arise whilst you're at university. There is support available to you and we are here to help you access that support. There are a number of support services available. All the contact information can be found on the My Swansea app, which you can download prior to your arrival from the My Uni intranet pages. Student services and the health and safety team have also put together information to provide additional advice and support for you. So how will all of these new ways of operating our campus impact on emergency situations? For fire, if the fire alarm activation occurs, you must evacuate immediately and do, do your best to social distance as you evacuate. However, the risk of a fire overrides social distancing controls and you need to evacuate the building as quickly and as safely as possible. If you have your face covering to hand, put it on to evacuate. But do not go back for your face covering. You must continue to evacuate. Once you have evacuated the building, do not congregate en masse by the assembly point. Adopt social distancing near the fire assembly point for the building. If you are self-isolating or in quarantine, Follow the fire procedures that but ensure that you social distance away from others when outside. For further information, contact the My Uni support team. It is important we work to reduce false fire alarm activations, particularly during this time. To help with this, you must only use toasters, microwaves or other cooking equipment in your designated kitchen areas. Do not use aerosols such as hairsprays and deodorants or any products generating steam directly below a ceiling smoke detector. The use of item generating any sorry, the use of any item generating a naked flame such as candles, tea lights, or incense burners are prohibited along with smoking and vaping in all of our buildings, including accommodation. If you require a personal emergency evacuation plan, commonly known as a PEEP, this is to be put in place or reviewed prior to or as soon as you arrive on campus. Should you have a disability, either permanent or temporary, which affects your ability to evacuate yourself from the building safely, then contact the Students Disability Office or our Premises and Fire Safety Manager, Phil Mormon, for advice. Additional fire wardens are always required. This is an important volunteer role and is particularly important during the COVID recovery period. If you are interested in becoming a fire warden for your halls of residence, please contact us using the corporate responsibility email address and we will arrange the, the training for you. If there is an incident and you require first aid, please either contact your local first aider, dial 333, which is the emergency line for our security team, or use the Safe Zone app. If you haven't already downloaded the Safe Zone app, it is recommended that you do so for a quick and easy emergency response. The app is free to download from most app stores. For more information, see the security information on, my, on the MyUni intranet pages. If you have any queries or concerns regarding first aid arrangements, please contact the health and safety team. Our contact details are on the MyUni intranet page. With all the changes to our campus and ways of operating, it is important to report any concerns or adverse events to the health and safety team. This will enable the university to investigate and make changes where applicable. Reports of any adverse events can be made through the reported section on the university webpage under health and safety. You are also asked to report any malicious acts, for example, spitting. This is something that has been flagged in the media, so please let us know if you experience this type of incident. If you have a confirmed case of COVID-19, you must report this to the My Uni support team as soon as possible. They have a dedicated email address, which again is myunisupport at swansea.ac.uk. 
The team will support you to ensure you are informed of your responsibilities with regard to any health declaration and provide any support you need in relation to pastoral elements. If you are exhibiting symptoms such as a high temperature, continuous cough, loss of sense or taste or smell, you are to stay at home and self-isolate for 10 days. However, if you start to exhibit these symptoms during the course of your lectures or study, you must return to your allocated household immediately and inform the MyUni support team. Where possible, you should avoid using public transport to go home and follow hygiene procedures and not touch anything. We have a cleaning arrangement in place for areas that where people with COVID symptoms have been. A positive test on site does not require complete closure of the site if the control measures have been followed. So to summarise, what we need you to do is raise any concerns you have, either prior to arriving or when you arrive on campus. Maintain social distancing. Remember, you can ask others to step back if they are too close. Follow good hand hygiene guidelines at all time. Wear a face covering when on campus, particularly within our buildings. Do not come to campus if you have symptoms of COVID-19. Stay in your household. Report any incidents you have that when you're on campus. You are a valued member of the university community, so it's important you stay safe and well. There is support available to you. You are not alone when adjusting to the new way of life on campus or starting your university journey. You can find all of the additional information discussed during this course on the My Uni Internet pages. Remember, we are here to help and support you. If you are unsure, not clear, on what is required or just need to be pointed in the right direction, we can help, so get in touch. Thank you for your time. We will see you very soon. Take care, stay well, and enjoy your time at Swansea University.